got champagne in my locker, and it's gonna rain on my friends. I got W's on my skin. What's up, everybody? This is Simone Lawrence, and it's episode six of the Pay Me to Stop podcast. <laughs> Let's go. All right. First of all, we gotta check in with everybody. Make sure my dog, first of all, we gotta make sure Zach. Zach, how's everything? How's the marriage? I need you loud, Zach. It's going good. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, it's going great. Going great. That's great. the foot F I'm talking about. We got my dog, Corey, in the cut. Corey, how's your yeah. week going? How's everything? Weekend was great, you know. Saw the cats take the dub in Calgary. <laughs> <laughs> I could clap that one up. I ain't gonna lie, that Calgary win was so much fun. Hannah, yes. how, how, how are you doing? Great. Great? Oh, Hannah's doing great. The, the person behind the 21 questions. All right, so the Calgary win. I'm gonna talk about that for a little bit because that was so much fun. Like, I, throughout my whole career, I've been playing football since I was eight. I've, that was probably like one of the best feelings, you know what I mean? Because, like, they, the way they were acting towards the end of the game, they were treating it like the game was over, right? People was dancing, talking nasty, like, ah, y'all not going to the playoffs. Ah, we doing this. Ah, just talking so spicy, right? And I'm just like, yo, this game's not even over, right? Like, we just got a nice little, like, two and out, hit, hit a field goal. And honestly, I, did, I think that they had horrible time management, you know what I mean? But whatever. <laughs> we did a great job going into Calgary and winning. And I got a special guest that's here with me right now, Javon Santos Knox. Let's <laughs> Welcome to the pie. I was like, I was talking about the game, but I'm like, yo, we got to get my dog in the uh, screen yeah, because yeah, not yeah. only did my dog go over 100 tackles, he yeah. had 10 tackles that game. Like, bro, tell me about the Calgary game because like, People got to get that feel about how nah. it was, yo. Like. So, like, um, I think you hit, you know, a lot of great points. Like, um, at one point you saw the other sideline, you know, dancing and whatnot. and Acting uh, like we wasn't us. Yeah, man. you know, and, uh, you know, it was our back was against. Well, I didn't realize, you know, we didn't win in there since, like, 2004. Yeah. Since, I think, like, Danny McManus was the quarterback or mm-hmm. whatnot. So, um, you know, that the, the energy was live. But, uh, like you said, it was, it was nice to get that dub. Um, my boy came back, so it was nice having 21 <laughs> back out there. The 21 gang was back in full effect. <laughs> and you just felt that energy, though. The minute we, you know, I don't know, like for some reason I was telling Sim, like it didn't feel like, like, you know, we ever didn't have control of that game. You know what I mean? Like we were going to find a way to win that game no matter what. Because, you know, we felt like our back was against the wall. We were against, you know, against the world, us against the world. And, you know, we just came out there with a dub and it was lit. It was lit. And, like, to come up, like, all right, so, like, it was my first uh, game back in two months, right? Like, no football, right? And we the game started, and I'm just like, all right, we got to win this. You know, That's Calgary, it. we on the road. It's a must-win game. And then when, how many plays? We had 74 plays. 74. So, like, all right, guys. So, like, football, like, you count your plays and you see how yeah. many plays you got. But you understand that you're going to have to ball until the end. So, like, a normal game was about, like, 50, like 50 six, and stuff yeah. like that. So, like, coming into the game, I'm like, all right, bet. Like, I already know my win. I got to make sure my win yeah. is so they're a little bit extra running. But you can't, you can't prepare for this kind of stuff, right? So one of the, my favorite plays during the game that night against Calgary was when we there was a turnover, right? Mm-hmm. And then um, it was second and like second and four. Oh yeah. And we was in storm. storm. Yeah. Was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So the play you're talking about. So if you don't know what storm is, storm. Oh, well, I don't like it. <laughs> you know I mean? But I'm like we're coming, right? Yep. Yep. So. Like I see the I, I look over right they got three three receivers to yep. the right side I'm like oh hell no nah, they ain't about to pin me in right nope. because it happened to me before mm-hmm. in Winnipeg so like I aborted the blitz and just ran to the house I was like all I gotta do is touch him so I snuck under somebody grabbed his leg you know I'm only tackling yeah. his, uh, ankles because I'm trying to play as long as possible so <laughs> I, I grabbed the ankles and then I'm like oh my gosh I don't know if he's gonna fall and before he even hit the ground all I see is 45 Boom. and the crazy thing about if you know anything about Calgary's like 
their scheme, they, they got great receivers and the receivers are great at blocking. So one thing we try to emphasize is we can't get sealed and whatnot because we know that they're trying to come crack us, right? right? So when Sim came off that edge and he set it, reset the edge, came and shot that gap like that, I'm like, oh, Sim's back. Sim's <laughs> back. I'm like, Sim's back. And then, you know, we, I just scraped the, scraped the cross, made the job easy. And like you said, Sim, that was a big part of the game. Um, backed them up, kicked them. They made it, they kicked the field goal. And, um, you know, I just felt like, you know, we were back. We were well, back. You know, I, it was nice I to know get. What you, mean, you know I what know I mean? What we mean, were yeah. back, dog, That's and it was good like, to have it. it yeah. Because first of all, it's like, all right, my Jay been getting a lot of reps, playing a lot of great yeah. football all season, and like you know, it's like the you don't want to like really change the continuity, especially if things are going well mm -hmm. and stuff. And like, first of all, it's like, all right, I gotta make sure I come out here. And no Definitely. drop gets missed. Right, right, right. So yeah, saying, yeah. So it's like, I'm sitting there, uh, after halftime, I made a play. Tunde came up to me like, welcome back. Yeah. And they don't know what that does. I was nah, like, oh, for man, sure, for go. sure, for sure. Then, we feed off of that, man. Yeah, yeah 100%, so, man. Yeah. So then, like, when we made that play, I was like, oh, there's no way we lose. Nah. <laughs> Even when it felt like we was going to, yeah. if something was going to not go our way, I felt like they just couldn't beat us. Yet. And like, people, people joke and laugh, but like, it's like who we are. Like Coach O doesn't just like we don't just say that. We yeah. really believe that. Like for real. you know what I mean? Like like for real, like, for like it's not just lip service around here. Like we believe that we're gonna win this game. And uh, you know, for us to do it against the wall was nice. So yeah, that was, bruh, yeah. The way we won that, man, that felt so good. And then the plane ride, you know. Yo, so we were on the plane, right? <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so we're on the plane coming back home, right? So it's like an over the night play ride. Yeah. Um, everybody's sleeping. First we're talking, having fun for a little bit. And then everybody passes out as soon as the lights go out, right? And then all of a sudden, right? I see everybody <laughs> moving and stuff, right? I got my earphones <laughs> in, so I can't really hear nothing. But I see everybody like panicking, uh, frantically moving and stuff. And the guy, the flight, the pilot gets on the mic and he was like, Guys, in case of an emergency, <laughs> he said, guys, in case of an emergency, I need you guys to know how to exit the plane, da, da, da. and meanwhile, the plane's shaking, it's like, we're going to do turbulence, we're going to do turbulence like right now at this point, turbulence. real life turbulence, and it woke everybody up, and was sit like, the first thing that came to mind was he told us, hey, take your headphones out because I need to give you guys instructions in case this thing goes down. And the first that everyone just looks around and say, wait, what? We're at this point right now? We didn't know we were at that point, but it's just a little turbulence. Shout out to the, the pilot, Shout though. The pilot he got the job done, done definitely, yeah. clearly. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because I was literally thinking in my head, I'm like, yo, it's the first time yeah. ever winning in Calgary in my whole uh, 10-year career. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this is how it's going to go. You can't, can't. <laughs> don't need that. Nah. Bro, I was so under yeah, that, bro. That I is felt that. crazy, bro. Oh, wait. This don't got nothing to do with nothing, but I got to tell y'all something. This is not a restaurant. After practice today, right, um, I had to take a drug test, right? So I'm going to tell you guys about how drug testing stuff works, right? So they come, they let you know you got to take a drug test. And then my guy, my guy, Bill, who followed me around, shout out to Bill. I told Bill I was going to talk about this on my podcast <laughs> because, like, he wanted to watch the podcast. So shout out to Bill. <laughs> shout Bill out Bill. plays the guitar. He's a, he's a real fun. He's a cool guy. So he's following me around. I'm like, all right, bet. I got to hurry up because I got a bunch of stuff to do today. I got to watch film, blah, blah, blah. So I run. I go, I try right after practice, I go and try to go to the bathroom. I can't go to the bathroom. I go a little bit, but it wasn't enough. So so then I leave the bathroom. I'm like, dang, I also got treatment. Yeah. So I go get my treatment. So this guy has to follow you everywhere, right? Like everywhere you go, he follows you. So I'm getting treatment with Adam and stuff. And um, he's sitting there watching me. I come in the locker room. I tell him to play some music. So I'm giving him a show. Like, yeah. I'm, acting, I'm acting like Simone, Simone, you know what I mean? Going, ah, I'm going crazy. And, <laughs> and this guy, he's like, yeah, this is the best entertainment I had in a long time. Thank you so much. And I'm like, the best entertainment? Because, like, this guy follows you everywhere. So I'm like, yo, I got to go take a shower. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go take a shower and stuff. So, yeah. guy, so I'm like, yo, you don't got to come in the shower. So I'll take the shower all the way so you can yeah. see me while I'm showering and stuff. Because he can't lose sight of they you. They can't right? lose sight of you. He can't yeah. lose sight of me. So this guy follow, followed me all around. This don't got nothing to do with nothing. But I just wanted to tell y'all this. Because, like, Bill was actually, he was a cool guy. And he, Shut he, was, up, like, Bill. he made me feel really good because he's like, yo. I have never been this entertained in my life. Yeah. And I was like, damn, Bill, you look kind of old, too. It's like, yeah. I, 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 I,
this earth for a while. And I really appreciate that, Bill. And uh, True Sports, you guys do an amazing job. You do. Thank you guys so much for making sure everybody's playing fairly, you know, because, like, you can't play football and not play fair. Like, I don't want to be going against somebody that's taking all kind of crazy stuff. Meanwhile, I'm just drinking water and um, these beautiful uh, organic boot. You, actually, Javon, we got a big game this week. Yes, we do. So I want you to do one of these with me. The, right now, uh, to all my listeners, we are about to do a organic ginger and turmeric. Turmeric really helps the body, like, recover and all that stuff. So, you know, I'm going to pour us a, a couple of these, you know what I mean? Get us right. All right. Yeah, pour us a couple of these. Get my dog right. Here, you can do more. All right. All right. You know what I mean? Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Some good tumor. Oh, oh, that was a kick. Oh, yeah, that was a kick. <laughs> Definitely need that water. Oh, that was a kick. Jay, we play linebacker. I taste the ginger. Oh, yeah, it's good, right? Yeah, it was it's, good though. It's, it's it was really good. Wild. That's what. Yeah. Hey, but. That's why I've been losing on Madden, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't know we were going to take it there. Look, I, don't I, didn't know, I don't care. I don't care. I didn't know we were going to take it there. So, like, I do have problems. Like, I do, God. like, I smoke people on Madden, but, like, for whatever reason, our first, like, three games was, like... Some of the best Madden games I've ever played in like my life. It was, like, Kyrie versus I ain't going to lie. Yeah. Like, Literally, back and forth, last possession games. Like, like I was like, okay. Sim, I'm, I'm struggling right now, like against you know what I mean. So, um, well, like he has a lot of my money right now, right? So, like <laughs> we, we was playing, what was playing like two days ago and yeah. stuff, and I'm just like, yo, what is wrong with me? I can't like, I don't know what's going on. He's just smoking me right now in Madden, and it's like it hurts me to like say this, but like you know, he got the best of me, and um, yeah, I'm good at Madden. It's not just Sim, so like it's really nothing. Like I'm really like that. At but Madden. I want y'all to know that like, I did not have my special. Uh, shot that that though. might be it. That so like I want like we're gonna run it back. We're definitely gonna run it back. We're he's a he's a Lamar Jackson guy. So I mean, That's my favorite player, Lamar Jackson. I will say though, Sim, the way you play the game is uh, he plays. It's very similar to how he plays. <laughs> he's gonna send it, okay? He he gonna blitz and he's gonna he gonna. Sm I'll tell you what, uh, send a lot of blitz, a lot of pressure in his Madden game. So. Makes a, no pressure, no time. If you ever hey. come to a defensive coordinator, expect a lot of pressure. I'll if just I tell you that right now. Right I'm now, in every single play. If you don't know how to play man to man, you're not playing mm -hmm. for me. <laughs> he would have a lot of cornerbacks mad. He's a, he's hundred percent right because he he runs man the whole time, and you would think it's basic to stop. Some reason they couldn't pick him up in Madden. Wait, we both play linebacker. We don't just I hate saying we play linebacker. Mm -hmm. We both really play linebacker. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Like every single year, top yep. of the charts, back in their hearts, 45 strikes again type stuff. I like that. That was smooth right Ooh, there. That, that was, was very bar. smooth, right? That was a bar. <laughs> hey, we might have to trademark that right there. Hey, we're gonna talk about that later off the show, you know what I mean? Oh, Get that, oh, but yeah. Oh, we got a, uh, another one for you. Okay. We got another one for you. Cheers. Cheers. Let's see if he makes a face for this one, guys. Let's see. Oh, that one, that's probably the most, the clean, the cleanliness, what is this one, the, uh, <laughs> organic, uh, yeah, organic, the, uh. This one is the, uh, hold on, oh, hold on. This is that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> apple cider vinegar. I can taste the vinegar in that one. I can definitely taste the vinegar in that one. That was a good one right there, very yeah. Very nice, very nice. So we both play elite linebacker play, right? Yes, sir. And I was watching this movie. I don't know if you watched it, but I'm sure you know about the story. Manti Teo, he plays <laughs> linebacker with us, right? Yeah. And I was like watching the show and it was like, everybody was like, oh, I feel bad for Manti Teo. Um, I don't know how he like got tricked like that. So many people owe him an apology. Did you get to watch it? I did watch it. Yeah, okay. I, did, like, I did. I'm just curious. Like, I'm just curious. Like, what, what's your take on it? Like, all right. Well, like your honest take, you know what I mean? Because like we play football, yeah, and yeah. like in our like I I understand man type yeah. just because like the way he grew up, I understand like right, the whole right, 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 Mormon life, type yeah, 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 and that. So like. But like us playing football, we don't understand it. You know what I mean? But yeah, so like the whole man tie tail situation. As a kid, I remember looking back on it. I was like, it was strange to me, right? Mm -hmm. It was new. Social media wasn't really a thing. So when I look right. back on it, True. you know, like the whole concept of being like catfish wasn't really a thing. So I kind of see why people like feel for the man. And gets, but like as a football player at Notre Dame, you're the man. Notre Dame, but like. 
You don't even know how to call somebody regular. Like, is yeah. it always FaceTime? Like, well, I don't know if they have. See, that's how this how we're talking. That what year was it? This was far. Too? This was far back. I'm yeah. thinking. So okay. like, I don't think. But like, I think they had Skype then, right? Yeah. Or like, like Ven, Vu, Vu, Uvu, Uvu. <laughs> remember Uvu? I didn't remember the Skype, Skype yeah. Uvu, like Uvu, the little like yeah. the, the the camera yeah, thing. Yeah, for sure. They had they those. The yes, bro. Yeah, yes, yes. So my thing is was just like you know, it was. a I guess someone had to take a fall for all of us, you know what I mean? And he took the first catfish fall for yeah, the world. Man, Ty, for I, the world. I appreciate that, man. Ty, yeah. Like, <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's real out here, I guess, man. And then you yeah. think about it, like, you know, my sister, I know she's like, she's in high school and she watches catfish. Like, there's a show called Catfish out there. Too. So she's like, like her, her age group doesn't even understand the concept of a world without catfish, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, when I was a kid, I remember the internet was new. Yeah. So I had MySpace, you know what I mean? And MySpace, I believe. Oh, I don't mean to cut you off, but who is your top eight? Okay, my top, <laughs> you know, top eight was everything. Yo, eight I, have funny, I have a funny, I have a funny story. One day, me and my best friend back home, we were beefing, right? This is how you knew top eight was everything, and that's my brother. So I'm like, you know, we're beefing, like it was probably over a girl. We were in middle school, right? It was probably a girl. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna keep my boy in my top eight because top eight means that much, right? Bro, yeah. I looked on his thing one day. His post was, no. "Hey, I don't know why, but some people are tripping. I'm not. They, I'm still in their top eight. I don't know why, and that broke my heart. But I'm like, you, my brother, took me out my top eight and everything. That hurt me. So I mean, MySpace, that top eight was everything. My, I have everyone in my top eight are still around me today. I'll say that. That's so shout out to that. Too, you yo. feel me? That's my top a, eight was lit. Lit, yo, yeah. Did you ever throw Tom in your top eight? Remember Tom? Yo, Tom used to try the, sneak in the, the MySpace guy. Bro. You know the MySpace, oh, the, the, the you, Tom Mace, MySpace yeah. guy. Yeah. Tom's yeah, I don't know Tom how to. I was so jealous of not being in the top. You eight. know what's funny? Like top right. <laughs> what's crazy is MySpace, when it came out, like, computer wasn't a crazy ac- accessible thing, right? So you had to do it, like, at like your school. You had to find, like, a proxy to sneak into, like, the, the website or something yes. like that. Or one of your boys had, like, a computer and you would go over and check your, just to check your MySpace, because, like, everyone didn't have internet back in the day. So, yeah. like, um, MySpace was the thing. But, anyway, yeah, it was a thing. Yeah. thing. Um, oh, another question. Because when MySpace, all right, so everybody that doesn't know what MySpace is, MySpace is like a Facebook. It was the um, Facebook before the Facebook. Hannah, do you know what MySpace is? I know what it is. Oh, okay, cool. Because, you know, 2000 babies, you know. 2000. <laughs> Dice. Uh, <woo. laughs> nah, but so MySpace was something like you could play your own, you come to your page, it's like your own website, you come to your page. What song did you have when you came oh, to Oh, I, uh, man, I'm trying to think. I think it was like, uh, uh, Poppin' Champagne, Little Wayne Birdman or something. Like, I had so many I made sure my song, I had Cassidy songs up Ooh, there. Cassidy you know what I mean? If your MySpace song was everything, and it's crazy, they had us program. If you look back, we were programming, bro. Programming. We were learning how to like make our own websites yeah. without knowing, like I didn't know what I was, we were, we were copy and paste. I had like basketball and footballs like bouncing up on the screen yeah. and stuff like that. I had things falling, and like to do that, you look back on it, we were really like real life programmers, yeah. which was like, and then, you know, it, Pretty it, cool, I, yeah. I, I think it was like a tool. For some reason, I think women came up with that. So men probably yeah. emotions, maybe because you had the emotion tool on I it. Was, I was, I was yeah, emotional on there. I used to. I remember like if I was going through something, your song would change, you know, right? Yes, yeah. like song. going through it, you would change it. <laughs> you had a heartbreak or something, you're gonna change a love song or something Bad, like that. But yo. it was like. Facebook simplified social media, but back in the day you had to put some effort, some like some actual thought, and it had to be like you. It was your page. It was creative. You, Yo, th- you wanna know a funny story What's that? actually? Yeah. Um Joey Jahad. Okay. Joey Jahad is a a, a rapper from Philadelphia. Gotcha, right? Yeah. And growing up, I used to like I was young and I told Joey Jahad, because he was like one of my favorite rappers. I used to love URL, battle yeah, rap, and yeah. all that stuff. And I used I messaged him. I didn't think he would message back because in my head. He was like the biggest thing wait, in the world. Wait, but he was just a I know, yeah, I do, yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I'm typing him, I'm like, hey, Joe, <laughs> when I get to the NFL, I'm gonna pay for right. everything. You're gonna be the best rapper. You're blowing up, that. we were making it. He messaged me back, he was like, I appreciate that. Yeah, like, I made it, oh, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> Man, shout out MySpace, bro. Shout out to MySpace, yo. Yeah. MySpace was definitely a great time to be alive, yo. But Um, yeah, was it going back to the Manti Teo thing, um, real quick? Yeah. (laughs) So like, um, looking back on it, it was kind of crazy, and it's unfortunate because like, 
after all that, that's like a public, st- how do you walk in a locker room, Sim? After that, that was my biggest thing always, like, how would you get embraced by, cause I know. You know how you gotta go in the locker room. Just, you gotta go and dress it. Right, right off the like, back, right fact. Right off the back, like. Dress, what is, dress the elephant like, in the room right now, like, yeah. Like, rookie show, this yep. is what I'm doing during the rookie yep. show. Yep, yep. I'm holding my make <laughs> Yeah, like, yes, 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 yes. guys, I had a make It happened, and yeah, and just like own that. it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause once, like, the one thing about, like, football, like football players mm. that I love, it's like it's just real. Like if it's you real. keep it real, everyone's gonna is going to understand yep. you. Yep. Because we go through every everything. single emotion, 100%. every single feeling. That's and real. There's nothing that's far fetched. That's like, real. That's absolutely and, and, like, and that's a, I think that's that's like a fact. You you, you that's probably like you look at us as all big macho, this, that, and there. But when someone like like opens up or whatnot in the third, like Guys embrace it, and you know, you're just part of the family at that point, you know what I mean? So I guess it was probably easy, but I know the outside locker rooms, I know on the field it was probably rough for him, you know what I mean? As an opponent, to like the jokes were probably crazy. Yeah, I mean, on the other team. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I'm playing against Tail, I'm going over to the sideline like, oh yeah. Where's she at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take your mind off what you're supposed to be doing. He said, he, you know, messed his whole like psychology up when he first entered the NFL and stuff like that. So as a competitor, you know, I know you, you were gonna use that to your advantage sure. as a competitor, you know what yeah, I mean? You so, be mad, like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Man, but he, I'll tell you what, like, putting out that that whole documentary and stuff like that, I definitely think it shed it light. Even LeBron, I think, tweeted, Hey, we, we get it now, we understand yeah. a little bit more, risk, you know, like, what what happened to you. Yeah, so, shout <laughs> out to Manti, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. part of the gang, LBs, yeah. Utah, uh, linebackers, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was talking about uh, freaking uh, ta- uh, if I was going to do a talent <laughs> show and stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> I want to hear about your rookie show and stuff. I would tell you about my rookie show. Did you yeah. do a rookie show in Canada? So I actually got away. This is actually a true story. Somehow, some reason, the one day I was supposed to go do my, ta- you know how, so how talent show works, when you get some dead time before a meeting, well, how we do it, um, a vet will just say, get up there, we need you to do your skit, and you got to have a skit ready. So the one day I was ready to do my skit, I get called up there, and the coach on the other team, the one, the one of the other teams that I used to play for way back in the day, you could do your research and see who I was with first. But yeah, the, the other guys, the coach was really upset and had a bad day. And the minute I got there, he looked at me, and I don't think he was the first, I wasn't the first person he wanted to see. He said, Root, get your uh, back up the list. I said, perfect. And I went up there, and they never asked me to go back down there. And then they found out halfway through the season, and by that time, you know, when they say halfway, you play your first game, six games in, you're not a, you're not a rookie no more. So I wasn't getting up there, and I didn't end up getting up there, but I had a song ready. It was gonna what be uh, gonna um, Crying Out For Me. I was gonna sing a little, I was gonna rap Lil Wayne's verse to oh. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the one song I know to heart. Bar, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. So I think, you know, I would have had the whole, you know, locker room, you know, rocking. But don't do jokes. Rookies, don't do jokes. You know what I mean? No one really, like, got to. Jokes don't hit the same. No. All from different places. A hundred percent. Some of that stuff go over our head. Yeah, and if it's got jokes, it's got to be like, you got to have some content if you're going to yeah. come with a joke. Everyone likes a song, you know what I mean? But like, jokes, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. So I was in Edmonton, right? And as I was in Edmonton, I was like, already played, like, I was in the States for like three years, mm-hmm. right? So I was like, yo, like, why, why am I doing this? So, yeah. And, and then I was like, you know what? You know, I'm going to embrace the culture. Right. And I'm going to do it. Like, we had a day set, like, yeah. where we had to do the calendar show. So I'm in Edmonton, and then I'm like, what can I do? Everybody had me. I was mad. So I said, I'm going to do the top. 20 ugliest people on the <laughs> Oh, <laughs> creative. Creative. <laughs> Super creative. God. I, mean, I tell you, this was so savage. Bro. Pew, 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 like, pew, pew, pew. Was, bro, I Firing. Was, like, I, came out, I came out to like Wild Boy. It's like, yeah. I'm a Wild Boy. boy. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. I came out right. So then I created like a whole like PowerPoint, right? And then I just listed and then like I would put like the find like the worst pictures of everything. Oh wow. Maybe this is why I got to take n- that might, <laughs> Hey, that might be one of the reasons, may or may not. Allegedly that might be the reason. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> But dang, that's a good one. That's a really good yeah, one. Yeah, yo, just because it's like, yo, if y'all look for smoke, I'm looking for smoke. You know what I mean? Hey, you want to hear the crazy? Like, shows like America. Can I tell you actually something crazy? So, true story. When I was in my rookie, win- uh, uh, rookie camp in Winnipeg, mm-hmm. um, 
we actually had a, a individual one and then we did a group one as well. So it did an LB unit, it did a DB unit, da da da. LBs have come up, right? This is a true, true story. You can look it up. Okay. <laughs> LBs up. We have no skit, right? We're all looking around. This one guy in the group is very confident. Don't worry about it, guys. I'm going to rap for us. We're all looking at like, you're going to rap for us. He's like, yeah, I'm going to rap for us. We're like, rap? Okay, bet. He, and we're like, okay, can you rap, Gerald? He's like, yeah, I can rap, G. All right, bet, bet. Come to find out, he comes in. Shuts the whole place down. Shuts it down. We're just, we're all like, yo, we just won the talent show. Everyone's looking at us like, who is this guy freestyling right now? <laughs> Come to find out, the guy I'm talking about is now ESTG. The rapper who is the famous rapper is ESTG. We were in the same camp. He has a song with Lil Baby, Lil Wayne, and he, all your favorite rappers, he has a he song with. Football? In Winnipeg's rookie ESTG camp with the linebacker football? with us, middle linebacker with us. He's a back, he's a backer. We can get him on this podcast. He's a backer gang. G. You wanna follow me on Snapchat, but it's all good, man. I get it. I get oh, it. He got, big, he got big, but I get it though, cause like he was no, but the thing is, he was sending me a lot of tapes and stuff like that. And we only threw knew each other, and I was rocking with it. But you know, he got big. I think he might have started a new Instagram or Snapchat or something. That's it was crazy. ESTG of all That's people. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? Oh, he be having oh. It was and super. You just never know. You never know. You just so never know. You know, there's, you know, God, you never know. Like just because someone's playing for, like football, we got some people who play the game who can rap. How big was ESG? He looked little. Nah, he's a he's a he's a good sized dude, bro. He's oh, a, so he runs. Yeah, he's Mike. Small, he's though. a Mike. You know, he's a Mike, a true Mike. Was like he, good? he was a true Mike. Was he playing? He oh, wasn't a CFL oh, Mike. He was a true yeah, Mike. If that like makes NFL, more sense. Like yes, like that, yes, like yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Dang, shout out to ESG. Yes, oh, yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Never get crazy story. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. So what else is going on? Oh. I got to talk about Kanye, yo. Yay. Whoa. I love Kanye. I mean, I hate to say that I love Kanye, but I love Kanye. Because, like, Kanye somebody... Like, one thing about me is, like, once I mess with somebody, it takes a lot for me not to mess with them. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, like, I, like, everybody could be hating somebody. And, like, if I have a, like, whatever, a relationship or some kind of, like, feeling towards somebody, it won't change my view of that person, right? Mm -hmm. And like, I know Kanye be tripping a lot, but Kanye always been tripping. And we, you know what I mean? Like he's always been tripping. But like, just every, he he controls everything though. Yeah, he's gotta work on his public relations skills. <laughs> That's, you know, he, he needs somebody to talk for him, I think. I for think he, sure. needs, he needs to write his ideas down. Give them to somebody and let somebody like tell them. For sure, kind of like what we did in uh, college. Like, yeah, the but there's like like yeah. <laughs> to my thing, everyone should get their freedom of speech and uh, yeah. Um, I just leave it at that. I mean, that. I'm the, yeah. I don't rock with everything Kanye say. Right. But Kanye, come on my podcast, bro. I be tweeting you all the time to come on my podcast. I just seen you on Drink Champs. Come hang out with me, bro. We do uh we do uh well, healthy, shots. organic uh, shots and stuff, oh. Kanye. Mm -hmm. Wellness shots. Back. Yeah, man. Kanye, we love you still, bro. <laughs> Come back home. <laughs> <laughs> My dog Jay's not liking the um, organic shots anymore. That one was a rough one. I'm not gonna lie. That was an unexpected <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, me and Jay, we both play linebacker. LB gang. LB gang. And I want to talk to you about, like, what is the hardest part of playing linebacker? So, like, like, so, like, I think, I think people, LBs, we have to be, I don't think people understand, we have to be D, we have to play the run like the D line, mm -hmm. and we have to play the pass like the DBs. Mm -hmm. DBs want us to play like them, mm -hmm. D linemen want us to play like them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, I think we see, every world that you can see on the defensive spectrum, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? So I think in terms of uh, just the just having to do, um, play top down and lock down, like that, that's a true saying for us, because we were literally playing run, or not even top down, lock down, more like just, we're just playing like, I don't know, we, we're covering we're, yeah, right? you know what I mean? So, so like, like, we have to do, a, we have to, um, you know, I think we have to line the defense, we have to, uh, Make people right. Not saying that it's a, you know, 
it's it's like it's someone's doing their job wrong. We're just saying like it's our it's our job as a second level guy to make the front levels guys right, and then we also have to get into the second into the you know the back end and do our drops and stuff like that. So I think just as a linebacker, we do a lot of things, and I don't think backers get their credit for the type of athletes we are because we have to be mad tough as Sim would say 300 plus you know what I mean but we also (laughs) have to be like quick nimble and be able to you know cover you know guys running sprinting at you you know we there's times you know you come across a lucky whitehead you know where you Sim has to take him on an out route or has to take him on this that's not easy but then he also has to take on a William Stanback and you know chop him down which yeah. Uh, yeah. So Which linebacker, yeah. Yeah. I, like, you know what I mean? And then just like the study aspect for of sure. linebacker, right? Like, like a lot of positions, not a lot of positions, because you all have to study for a lot, but there is a lot. To, there like, is, yeah. Like, there's a lot to go through. Like, I was going through, yeah. like, trying to get through all my run clips yesterday, my pass clips, like, my 32 formation, my 41 and, formation. And that's the fun. And it's like, yeah, we have, have to. to Cause like you said, like I said, you have to play the run and the pass. You can't just say, I'm just gonna, you know, watch the pass clips and then, you know, I'll trickle in some run things. Cause our game is really 50, 50, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So like, there's a lot for us to study and know. Um, and that's the unique thing about our position though. I for think, sure. you know what I mean? Like guys like us, I know you embrace it. We embrace it. Like we want, like, we're guys we want we want that on our shoulders and stuff like that you know so um what does your body feel like after after like a game like after a 10 tackle game what does your body feel like car crash (laughs) multiple car (laughs) crashes and different and like the airbag just probably forgot to go off or something (laughs) like that nah but um you know your body goes through it like it, it really goes through it but everybody has tim you've been in the league for 10 years you have your your routine, right? That gets you, and if you stick to your routine and stay true to your routine, yes, some weeks are a little bit more rougher than others, but your routine, your consistent routine will get you through that, you know what I mean? So like, it's like, it's not a, it's not a, it's not by accident, you know, you've been in the league as long as you have, bro. It's a constant routine, and you know, things like that, you know, your body's gonna go through it. We play a tough game, you, we know that, we know that, but you just gotta be tough and just. You really gotta understand your body too, cause Thanks. like, You'll be like, you'll do like the extra day where you come do rundown. You're like, I don't know how I'm going to play next week. A hundred percent. Hey, Sam, I know you felt like there's times like, how am I going to, how is the, the next week is not even in your like imagination. You can't even think about mm-hmm. playing a, a game in the next week on that run. But then by day, day one, day two, yeah. day three, come along. Hey, I'm ready but, now. You yeah, know what I mean? Just, you know, you know I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a. A little bit of the kid in you, you know what I mean? Right. We love this game. We we, we love this game. So nothing's gotcha. gonna nothing's gonna hold us out of this game. And if it does, we're itching to get back at any chance we can. And mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I, I just starving for it. And uh, you know that's I think you know uh, it, it's car crashes out there. That's what we're going through. Many car right. crashes. But like, but like we say it's car crashes. But like we're the ones causing the crash. Boom! Yeah. Got a boom by the boom. So it's kind of like yeah. it's kind of like. Like a running back, like I used to play running back in high school, right? Yeah. I can't imagine playing. No, no, that's a fact. Like, As a living, just like, taking shots. <laughs> but but Sim, let me tell. Uh, have you ever? Have, I know. <laughs> have you ever taken friendly fire from Dylan Wynn? Bro, you have. Well, put, put the camera <laughs> on him. Have you ever taken friendly fire? Bro, from, friend, friendly that, fire from Tunday's the worst. From Tunday is bad too. <laughs> it's him, and you wouldn't know, you wouldn't think Tunday like you got a three hundred pounder, then you got a or not? I don't, I don't, however, the big team, and then you got Tunday who however not Tunday. His his friendly fire is just as bad because <laughs> as a Dylan's friendly fire. So like the friendly fire, you don't even account for that in in the football. I mean, there's times it'll be like the funniest question for me from like trainers is like is like oh like do you remember the play you got hurt? Come on, I get hit every play. Right, did bro. you get hit on it? Uh, come on, like I probably did. What play was it? Every play, you know what I mean. So like, it's there's not a specific play. It's Never. probably just nah. It's just wear and tear. Man. Like my leg after the Calgary game was drenched in blood. I had like a hole in my knee, like gash. This big, right. Yeah. Probably needed to stitch it up or whatever. And I look down. I'm like, hmm, where'd this come from? <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh my gosh, what happened? Da, da, da. I was like, honestly, I just don't know. Don't know. know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're like, yo, you gotta go to the hospital against this. I'm like, 
Uh, I had no idea, I know, yeah. Happened, yeah. I don't even think Sim noticed it till like, I don't think you noticed it till I when we got back in the locker, locker room, yeah. Celebrate. I'm like, what's that drink? I think someone was telling me like, yo, yo, bro, look at your leg, <laughs> yeah. But that's just the adrenaline, you know, we play at such a high level. This game is, this game is true energy, like we're, we're in our, our domain, we're in our, in our, you know what I mean? This is our element. Yeah. You gotta think about it like, you know how you go to school to like become a doctor. You gotta do like four years of reg regular school, four like four years of uh, med school, uh, residency, and then all yeah. that. Literally, we're doctors of this because we've been doing this since we were like eight years old. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, I was like, gonna say, yeah. You know how to like yeah. get your body right for some heads. You've and, you've literally gotten your doctorate since like you've you've like yeah exactly like you said like. Since you were eight years old, you've been playing this game, right? right. So like you're you're a, you're more than a student of this game, bro. You know what I mean? You are the doctor of the field of football. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. It's crazy when you think of it. We've been playing this game for a long time. You know what I mean? And it's a blessing. It's we, a blessing. Yeah, I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> like nothing. I absolutely love it. All right. So we got this game, right? All right. It's called Twenty One Questions. I'll take one of these. Yeah, yeah of course. One of these of course. Things. Yeah, yeah, shout out to everything. What's mine is yours. Can I just say this? Last time I was here, bro. This is a dope setup, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna say it at the right time, bro. But this is a dope setup, man. Pay me to stop. Dope platform, man. My dog's doing big things. Shout out Twenty One, man. This is really dope. This is a dope platform, man. My dog Jay, yeah, man. man. I appreciate Jay so much because, like. Like, you one of my favorite linebackers I've ever played with, right? Appreciate like, you, that, First bro. of all, this is, like, the first time in my whole entire life having, like, the consistency of having, like, the back, the same backer twice, yeah. right? Like, yeah. everybody usually comes here, does well, get paid, and leave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, that's it's easy. To, yeah, nah, that's like, it. Just what it yeah. is, right? So, like, having you here is, like, so common and stuff. And the thing I like the most about you is, like, how honest you is with everything, right? Okay, like, yeah. you know how some people be like, act like they, they know this, everything. Not nah, like you're mad honest with everything. Yeah, you I mad, appreciate like, that, bro. You know, I love the way you play. You line everybody up. Yeah. You know, the energy, like whatever I'm on, you on. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because like, bro, you know, they, I remember when, like, when I did sign here two years ago, people were trying to, I remember the whole, everyone was trying to figure out how would this work? How would this work? You know? And bro, we figured it out, bro. We definitely did, bro. And I, you know, I think that's dope, bro. It really is just a testament of, you know, you taking me under your wing, teaching me Hamilton. You taught me Hamilton, bro. Cause it's not just Hamilton's a culture, man. Yeah. If you don't know, you don't know. If you you gotta be part of it. Hamilton's a culture and Sim embodies that. He really does. So like I appreciate you taking me under your wing and just teaching nah, me that. Bro. But I don't wanna interrupt your game. Go back to your nah, game, bro. bro. It's real, bro. Nah, yeah. We always get off we go yeah. get off topic. Yeah, all yeah, the time. yeah. Like, nobody go make mm -hmm. stop unless they pay us. Yeah, it so <laughs> Yes sir. Stop. Pay me to stop, yeah. But nah, um, so we got this game called Twenty One Questions. We're just gonna ask you a bunch of questions, this right. and that. And like if you can't answer, you just uh, you just take a drink of whatever's in your cup. Um, yeah, Hannah's gonna ask the questions and then you, know, you just answer like the best of your ability. Let's get to it. 21 questions. Twitter or Snapchat? Twitter. I'm a big Twitter guy. I love love Twitter. Twitter. Love yeah. Twitter. Yeah. Snapchat, honestly, I understand. I Snapchat ain't for, I, I like Snapchat, but I don't like Snapchat. Nah, yeah. If, if one could go, Snapchat, bye. Snapchat gotta go. Bye, yeah. Twitter's my life, though. Like, Twitter is, like, I think the only real platform nowadays. It's because it's, like, it's real, like, people, people don't be like, on Instagram posting, like, they, uh, mm, yeah. like, Jennifer Lopez <laughs> every day. Yo, how messed up is it, like, social media? Instagram should be banned, up. dog. Instagram yeah, be banned sure, yeah, bro. yeah. I mean, like, I don't like Instagram. But then Instagram goes ban people for, yeah, it's just, yeah. Like. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, you have, like, I, one time, right, all right, so let me tell y'all a quick little story. So one, one time, right, it was my first time, like, you know, like, coming up playing football, and now, like, I'm at, like, a level, like, okay, now I get to, like, see and mm -hmm. do things that, like, I've never been able to do, right? So, like, I meet, I'm, like, this person on Instagram, right, and, like, a hundred thousand followers every mm -hmm. picture look like da 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 you know what i mean <laughs> yeah and it's, all, it's it's not real yo. it's not real and like man. even the personalities don't match up don't sometimes. they don't they you don't know what i mean so like what do you think i like i like tiktok 
You like TikTok? So, so, like so, TikTok. so, so, yeah. TikTok, TikTok gave us people are, for people are trying to put me, facts, and that's a, that's a fact. Yeah. TikTok, I'm trying, I'm trying to get on the wave. I'm late. Yeah. I'll say I'm late. It's a lot of work if you get on it because it's addictive. Yeah. Like yeah. Because we're, like, oh, you know what I mean? So, like, so, like, TikTok, I, I definitely got to, I got to, I, people use TikTok for every reason. Like people want to find good food around the area. They yeah. TikTok it. They want to learn how to do. So apparently TikTok is more than just. I thought it was just like a quick video. But people use it for a lot of resourceful different things and whatnot. So TikTok's number one right now. People saying that. But I want Twitter to be better because I really like Twitter and I don't like Instagram also because y'all still ain't giving me my account back. Yo, I had Instagram all year this year, y'all. That's crazy. So look, look, whoever can get me my Instagram back. Actually, I don't even want it. That's because him. I, like, I, if you don't know, I, yo, I that's like him. That's how I manifest. Like, I'll literally, before a game, be like, I'm about to do da 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 in a picture. And then I hold myself accountable, so now I have to do da 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 So, can I get my Instagram back for this playoff run? Please. Please. <laughs> what would it hurt? What would it hurt? That's Simone, like, if you I, ain't I, know. Like, it's him. It's, like, Instagram. I miss Gosh. Instagram, yo. It's and verified. I, I have, like, 3,000 people watching my stories and stuff. Like... It used to feel like Sim TV, yo. Like, I don't know, man. I miss it. Nah, I like Twitter still. Shout out Twitter. <laughs> Shout out Twitter. Shout out Twitter. Shout yeah, out Twitter. Snapchat for the um, Snapchat for a different era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snapchat's definitely for a different era. Definitely. I'm too old for Snapchat. But I still got Snapchat. <laughs> I feel like I like a lot of group chats. Like, and, I, I just got a lot of group chats. And, and yeah, like right, and right. You know, like you know I mean? weird group chats are just your guys yeah, and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, yeah. Yeah, Pete Davidson or Kanye West? Oh. <laughs> this is easy for me. I'm I'm going with Yay. I'm going with Yay too. Yeah, I don't even know. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Music, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't even know who Pete Davidson is. I don't like, what did I don't know what Pete does. I'm not, I'm not I think he's a comedian or something, but Kanye, yeah. Oh, music is just like he's one of the best. Shout yeah. Out Shout out, yeah, yeah. Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Huh. <laughs> is there a, a neither or like him? A That's a sip, I'll take a sip. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Maybe The Rock, maybe he'll, maybe he's the one that we need. I don't know. I, politically, keep me out of it, yo. Keep me out of it. UMass or UConn? <laughs> UMass. Shout out my alma mater. UConn, you should have offered. Like UConn? We did recently, and we smacked them. Actually, my freshman year, huh, they were like number five in the country in the defense. They were, they had six NFL players yeah, on their man. defense. Yeah. They had C.O. Moore, all these crazy dude, Byron Jones. They smoked us. Yeah. First game of college football, I'm on the sideline as a freshman, and I'm like, this is college football. Yeah. If you don't know, I'm like, this is college. I'm seven, I'm 18, I'm a young freshman, true freshman on that sideline, like, those are college football players, and that right there was my introduction to college football. But UConn, you should have offered me. You, I don't, yeah, what's up, UConn? I don't get my it. My dog used to I, play ball in uh, high school. Dog, listen. Tell me about that real quick, actually. Listen, I started on the basketball court, so yeah. if you didn't know, basketball was my true love. Yeah. Um, UConn football, basketball. I could have done it. I could have done both for you guys if you really wanted to, but <laughs> that's a whole nother story. Shout out my dog Andre. He ended up going drumming. And, you know, he's from the city too. So yeah. he went. He showed out for basketball from Middletown. You know, I did the football thing, but uh, yeah, Was you he man. Your team? Uh, growing up through like uh, middle school, we were on the same middle school team. Pop, we went against each. We weren't on the same city to league. Yeah. We were on, but we went against each other. We went to the same elementary school, did bro. You own buckets ever. <laughs> they don't want to know. They don't. Want, I gave I, Dre. I gave you buckets, bro. Hey, Trump, Dre. I'm a tweet, I'm, I I'm gave a you buckets early on in my improv. <laughs> I'll say that improv. You know what I'm talking about, improv. But once you left Kegwin and went left Woodrow and went to high school, you glowed up, bro. You did your thing. You know what I mean? Shout out to Dre. You were in the top five pick. You know what I mean? But I will say, in my basketball days, I went against uh, the number fifth five pick in the NBA draft, Chris Dunn. You know, I had 35 points. He had 30 in the win. But it was a battle. It was a duel. I gave buckets. I gave. I left. I left it all out there that night. You could look this up. New London versus Xavier High School. You know what I mean. So yeah, shout out to shout out my basketball days. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. My dog dropped thirty five on a number top five pick. Yeah, you know. Not He's still in the NBA. What John? We're not. John Legend was talking. We are ordinary people. This guy. Damn, that was a bar. That was, that was, that was, that was a bar.
Jordan. Ooh. Ooh, that's a tough one. Cause you thank God you didn't throw Bron in there, cause I'm I, by default I'd have to pick Bron, but. Yeah. I'm a Kobe guy because he's in my era. You know what I mean? I love Jordan, everything he did. Um, but I didn't watch Jordan. So it's yeah. not fair for me to say Kobe over Jordan when I witnessed what Kobe did. Yeah. So I'm going to say Kobe because Kobe to me is like, that was greatness. Yeah. And yeah. I just embody the whole mindset, like the Mamba mentality. Yeah. I feel like Jordan like, was just like, Jordan was Jordan. You know what I mean? Yeah, Jordan I get what you're Jordan. saying. Jordan was Jordan on the level of like, He's going to be the only Jordan because he's not telling us shit. 100%. He, Mamba created a whole, he took Jordan's mindset and like elevated it, if that even makes sense. You know, he he adapted it to 2.0 with the Mamba mentality. And he tried to give it to him. Facts. He get, he's, like, he's a studier. He's sad a we lost him too early because he was giving game. It was like, you know how, you know, I know you're a Jay-Z fan. You know, he did, uh, when he dropped 444, when he was giving us, you know, 4444, whatever. He was giving us free game and everything like that on, oh, and shoot, the all on the blueprints and stuff like that. This was, you know, I feel like uh, Mamba was giving us his blueprint on how to be a great competitor in life. You know what I mean? In life, yeah. That's why they probably got no clue. Nah, don't say it. It's crazy. Hey, you watch baseball? I played it back in the day. I don't watch baseball neither, but I got yeah. Phillies hat on because I can't Shout the out. World Series. I'm a Sox fan. Shout out to the Red Sox. Shout bro. out to the Phillies. Yeah. Let's win the World Series. So I'm cool with that. As long as the Yankees don't win, I'm yeah. cool with it. Yeah. Yo, Toronto choked too, man. Toronto lost, yeah. Easy setup. Y'all feel like, Ooh. Toronto actually got somebody from uh, George Springer. He's from Connecticut. He's from the way so yeah shout out to George Springer yeah Yukon yeah. went to Yukon I know yeah we know about the Springer family shout y'all out yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah just, <laughs> good people great people great people he's a great he's a great baseball player too y'all know you guys know so. tequila or Hennessy Oh, it's. Tequila or Hennessy, wow. It all depends. Drink it all depends on the. Mo yeah, I'm a Duce guy. Shout out uh, Jay Z, you know, Hove. We drink it. <laughs> we only drink Duce. I'm gonna go tequila now because I feel like that's a like that's that's the the energy I've been. That's the athletic that's the athletic choice of drink. I think I think it gives good vibes, great vibes. You know what I mean? Zero um, calories. You know all that zero calories, Henny. It just gets you, <laughs> yeah, it just <laughs> demon time, I think they say, yeah, I'll leave it at that, so yeah, we'll keep it at tequila, yeah. Jay-Z or Lil Wayne? Oh. Jay-Z or Lil Wayne, that ain't even a question. Oh, man. Yeah. I it's, see that you performed that at the talent show. Yeah, you see, so I'm a Wayne guy, but Hove is like Hove. There is no anybody where Hove. And if it wasn't for so, him, so, 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 Wayne would be in jail right now. So my thing is, this is why I'm, I'm going to edge the Hove. Hove is bigger than just a rapper. Hove is a entrepreneur. He's a businessman. He is a business Man. Man, he is the business. <laughs> Jay Z has taken this game to the next level. When you look at what he's done, he's got one of the baddest in the game. He he, he did it. Yeah, that's lit. You gotta do Jay Z. Jay Z, I'll do Jay Z. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edmonton or Hamilton? <laughs> Hamilton, <laughs> like is that? Uh, Hamilton or Edmonton? I played at Edmonton actually as well for like four or six months. That place is like. Yeah. The grass is not always close. greener. I'll tell you that. Close. Yeah. Not close. Not a close not at all. Close. Justice League or Avengers? Avengers. Nice. I'm a big MCU person. Yeah, I, I, I follow a lot of MCU, so. You guys gotta step your game up, though, because Justice League has been on it. Justice, I know Justice League is lit, too, because y'all been on your game lately. I'm a Batman fan, too. I heard someone say it in the background. I love Batman. <laughs> I love Batman, but I'm going OG because I think if you, if you like, there's just so much, like, they got so much power in MCU. Justice League has got it. Like, they're still catching up, but they're on a roll right now. They're on to something. So I might, I might change my answer in a, in a couple of years. So. YouTube or TikTok? YouTube. I already explained this to you. I, I, I watch YouTube every day. I watch more YouTube than Netflix. I'm a podcast guy. Um, if, if I'm not watching, pay me to stop. I'm probably watching, you know, Drink Champs. I'm probably watching the Math Hoffa show. Ooh, uh, Matt Hoffa came out yeah, killing the game. Killing it. 
I bro, I don't even see it. I don't know where. I'm watching. Yeah, bro. Algorithm, and I'm like, yo, I see how these people are doing. Yeah, Sim, you are built for this, bro. You are built for this, brother. And I'm telling you, bro, 100. Like, like, so like, I'm seeing how this podcast. I know how the podcast game works, Mm -hmm. and not not. not, I'm just seeing how this thing is all unfolding because I'm now. I told Sim, I watch more podcasts than I do probably TV shows or anything like that. And Sim, like you embody everything you need to have to have a dope podcast. Even what is it, a million dollar worth of game? These are all rap rap podcasts. This is the the football one too with um um who is it with uh Ryan Clark and all those yeah. boys. So like um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I really like that because first of all, when I got this podcast, mm-hmm. I was thinking about it. Like first of all, I was like, yo, like I want a platform for like teammates to just come and hang out and chill. Because people, people yeah, yeah, people don't know we're just regular people too. I think you know what, you know what I mean. mean like, they think we're just like. Athletes, athletes, which we are, and this is a big part of our life. But like you said, like we're people. Yeah. Like my first episode, I had Braylon on here, and like he just went through an injury, and like people don't understand, like, like people like, oh, injuries are just a part of football, but like that's like that messes with. Oh, it does. Badly. Someone two years of injury took me out, man. I. I, I, Oh, and that's you're you're a dog. You know. No, I know, bro. Back from like injuries, like. Season ended injuries. Yeah, too, you know yeah. I mean? No, I do, bro. Like, yeah, because it's like you've been doing something your whole life, and then Taking it's just like, yo, why don't I get the op? Like, what's going on? Yeah, like, gotta, you start questioning, like, am I ever gonna be the same? That's when your da-da-da-da. faith has to like kick in times two. You gotta have your yeah. rock. You know what I mean, bro? Exactly. Another chair. This one is um. What is that? This one is the beet grapefruit. You know what I mean? Let's Beats. Beat grapefruit. Oh, that was trash. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good for you. It's good for you. You know it's working, so. That's a fact. Yeah. Got 100 tackles. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Bee Juice. <laughs> yeah, shout out Bee Juice. What question are we on? Quick time. Coach O or Coach Mike from Winnipeg? Coach who? Mike. Coach who? Mike. Is this the question? Coach O. The Coach O. Coach O. Oh, wow. Coach yeah. O, it's like, come on now. That's my dog, right? Coach O, Coach O, I mean, they're both great coaches, amazing coaches. Um, and they're both cut from the same cloth. I think they were teammates, so yeah. it explains. They're both very similar in coaching style, mm-hmm. but I'm rocking with Coach O all day. Yeah. Coach I O is our guy. Too, nope. Like, I could, like, like, the thing about Coach O, like, everybody, like, knows, like, X's and O's. Mm-hmm. Like, he's unaffordable, like... A lot of defenses you see is like stuff that came up yeah. off of like our 2013 defense and stuff. Um, but like off of the football stuff, he makes sure like you're a hundred percent. I mean, as it's like a human, as being. a human, he's a great human person. Yeah. And Coach O, I, it's something he said. To, he said, um, you know, one of his best skills in life. He's a great people. people per, he's a people person. He's a great. Pe- you know what I mean? And and. It's not because it because he tells you what you don't want to hear when you when you need to hear it. He he's there for you when you do need to hear it. You know what I mean? He's he's uh you know coaches a uh, you know psychology. He he's really there. He's really good mentally for uh, the well being of all his players and stuff. And his door is always open. That's a real thing. Not saying Coach Osha is probably the same way. He was the same way. But um you know what I know is what I know right now. And Coach O all day. Gang. Yeah. Okay. Lil Uzi or Playboy Cardi? Uzi. Shout out Philly. Sure. Shout out Philly, yeah. Playboy, Playboy is just <laughs> Uzi guy. See, the thing is, Playboy is like, he's got cool music. Uzi he's got bars, yeah. though. Uzi got actual bars of people, and people think he can't rap. But he's, he's from, from Philly. Philly. You know, I try to tell people he's from Philly. He can rap. So, yeah, Philly. Little Babies, It's Only Me album, or Drake's Honestly Nevermind album? <sighs> Honestly, never mind. <laughs> I mean, it's just a, it's like, a vibe. it's a vibe. It's, it's a, a vibe. When you yep. think of that, you think of a patio, you yeah. know what I mean? Just like, you just, you know, mixing, vibing and whatnot. I, you know, Lil Baby, I like Lil Baby, but like, Drake. I'm not going nowhere else. Yeah, like, like. If you can play it in if any. You, if you play sports. Yeah. And like. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. have fun. And right. like, you know, you like have a little get together. That album is Fire. You know what I mean? Like a little nightcap. Yeah. You put that on, and then you just like. So I was, yeah, I was home. I remember I was home for the bye weekend. Uh, it was just a cookout. Mm-hmm. And we playing regular music, like, and then we realized the song was like repeating. And it was like, oh, what do I play next? Someone had to put like a new playlist on. 
And I said, man, throw that Drake on. And everyone's like, yeah, of course. And when you throw that Drake on, it just instantly puts everybody in a good vibe. So I think it's something that everyone can rock with. And sure. it's just Drizzy, man. Drizzy's on top of the game right now. You did an amazing job with the questions, bro. Thank you, dog. This I is a good one. I think you probably, yeah, probably the best one with the questions. I wouldn't expect a linebacker, you know what I mean? Over. I had a show off from my dog, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't say that to Dylan. Dylan, Dylan, we need you. Me and him need you, you know what I mean? So you had the best one, but, you know, I was a close second. We'll leave it at that. I, a close second. I. Right. Very close. Oh, man. All right, so we got a big game this week. Um, the time this drops, we'll already probably be getting a win. Um, we play Ottawa this week. Uh, super excited to play Ottawa just because we got so many people over there. Yo. And I love the thing I like about the CFL is you see everybody. Everybody, yo. Like, I've always been here. And, like, I'm always so curious to right. add, like, how somebody that was mm-hmm. here is going to act around me yeah. on another team. You know it's it's surprising, actually, Sim. Yeah. It's shocking. Guys, you didn't know we're talkers are talkers on other teams. It's just because you don't see them in their game mode or in their game environment. You know yeah. what I mean? There's some guys on the other side that you, it surprises you when you hear them talk. You're like, oh, check all that. that's, but yeah, you yeah, you know what I mean? But, but, you know, <laughs> but like he's like Sim says, it's a small league and, you know, I'm all, everyone in this league is for, you know, players getting their money and doing what they got to do for their family. That's always come first. Yeah. But um, at the end of the day, you know, you know, it's gang and you're with the gang and well, you're not with us and you're not with us. You're not with us. And right now, uh. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to play some against some of our former teammates. That's for sure. So, that's a fact, man. So this is episode six on the Pay Me to Stop podcast. Six, Shout six, out to six, Javon, six, six, <laughs> Javon Santos Knox for coming on the podcast and putting on a great show. Bro. Appreciate like, having you. Coming, definitely. You we definitely about to play mad as soon as you get back to. This <laughs> yep, you know it. You no, know, we going. To get yeah, right, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying? I just the worst thing about being in the locker room, right? It's like. So me and Jay, we sit next to each other in the middle of the uh, and everything, and yeah, everything. literally so everything, yeah. All the time, right? So <laughs> you see all transactions. Ted coming over because we went to dinner the other night and stuff. So Ted had to hand me a little bit of money. He him handed me a brown. If somebody hand you like twenty dollars. Nobody paid attention, but when you see the maple bags getting handed out. You like, oh snap! Ten is so everybody's like, ten is up. So Ted had to nah. me the hundred dollar bill. I'm like. I got to get this right to Jay because he beat me in bed. My dog's always good. That's never been a question. It was always good. And so you know what? Get paid, stay free. Get paid, get paid. You know what I mean? But, you know, we'll see in the next ones how it yeah, goes. Yeah. I, I'm turning up. I ain't going to lie. I'm definitely going to tweet about the next game I play because I'm yeah. and I'm focused. Hey, if you, we get enough love, people comment if you want to see the game. We could we could possibly live stream it. We could live stream it. Possibly if that's what the people want. If that's the people want. We'll put it on in Tim Hortons football field. Oh, and we'll God. play on our big screen if that's what y'all want. Y'all just got to let us know. That's all we need. Whatever know. you need, we could get it done. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing. Yeah, just but, comment. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching the Pay this Stop podcast. Um, my dog Jay came through. Shout out to everybody in here for helping me with everything. Pay me to stop. Let's go.